Well, I'm running down the hall, checking on my crazy uh, mining buddy again. Not basalt, it looked like a hole in the floor. Hey, mining buddy, where'd you go? Wow, so much gold, so much wealth, and we are still not terribly close to the desert, but give you another 40 to do and um, take all the good stuff and skedaddle while you work. Alright. Alright, redstone I don't need yet. Iron I'm full of. Take some tin. I don't know about the lead. Like I say, it used to only be used for coils and the factorization mod, but that's not installed. So I wonder if I could just do a quick break here and check to see if there even is a use for lead. Got a gold. I gotta have it. Gotta have it. So if I had a few ounces of gold, I could pay those darn uh, medical pills that have been driving me crazy in the ridiculous real world. So let me see quickly if lead has any use whatsoever. Pulverized lead, lead ingot. I don't want to give it to me. I want to know its secrets. Yuki. So a buggy fueling pad, buggy storage. But Alright, so lead is used in uh, Galacticraft pretty heavily. Oh, that's good to know. Apparently you can't go to the moon without a whole bunch of lead. So now I know. Lead is worth stockpiling. I know I make the same bad jokes over and over. I have two blocks of osmium. That one is Donnie and that one is Marie. They actually look, still look pretty good for their age. Those fun-loving kids. So how old do you think I am? I ought to do that on my... Uh, yeah, that'll be the, the new challenge on, on the uh, the video there on YouTube. In the comment section, figure out how old I am by the ridiculous things that I keep referring to. But no, just because somebody has some expertise in, in classic uh, comedy uh, films of the 1930s, it does not mean that they are 90 years old. Some people just like that stuff because it's inherently cool and well done. Alright. Hey, we're almost out to the desert, and I bet that zombie's actually out at the desert waiting to greet us. Oh boy, oh boy, ow, 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 I'm hitting my head on the roof. Oh boy, oh boy. Now my head hurts. Let me see how close we are there. It is really close. And I like the glow, the glow out in the desert. You can see four beehives, and then that next glow is that little uh, castle that I sacked. With so that's fun. Uh, this is getting a little scary, though. I need to be able... I want you to dig out to the desert, but not completely punch out into the solid, uh, I mean, into the open air and let all the bad guys in. Alright, let me go here and dr drop... Oh, I don't know what to drop. I guess you could drop something. Marble cobble I don't like. Gotta cook it to get what I want out of it. I still like to have my arrows on top of my bow. Redstone, blah, low priority, and I don't need more eggs. Alright, here we go. This is gonna break out into the desert. Then I'm gonna hack my buddy and go home. Ah, I'm an idiot. I said I needed to make a fence gate, right? Do, 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 do. Dee dee dee. One fence gate coming up. Take them. One, two, three, four. Fence gate number six. Let's do it. Alright, well, I've managed to make, I would estimate, about four or five hundred blocks of tunnels to get me to key locations safely, day or night. And ultimately, I would like the ceiling to be one block higher and put a rail in the middle here, but 
I don't know if Railcraft is installed or... Nah, I don't know. Gosh, it would be nice just to use the uh, simple vanilla recipes again. Alright, dude. You've done your work. Let me add it. Let me add it. I'll punch my way out of this mess. There's the dirt. How was that for calculating? Nice, nice, nice. Give me some... There it is. There's the outside world. At night. The desert. Lovely. Put a fence gate there. Dig a little more. I'm going to risk running out. Putting some torches up. And there's the desert. It is now accessible without going over all that crap and through the woods. Oh yay, alright. That was my project. I'm headed home. But after that much tunneling, you can bet that uh, there's going to be some storage issues. Hmm. Well, let's take a look at it. I'll put some stone there, stone there, clay. Clay is somewhere else. I've got I need a separate thing for gems. Normally I create a uh, oh what is it? A personal safe for gems and uh, rare stuff, but that is I see too. Can't do it. Don't got it. Alright, well, spruce wood is in the wrong place. And I need food. Food, food, food. <coughs> Gee, do I have any food? Ah, scary. Let me eat this trail mix. How much does that do? Trail mix does two. And I bet a salad also does two. Two sticks of hunger. Where'd the salad go? I said number six. Well, I only had one, but I'm probably doing two sticks of hunger. All right. I am, uh, I got some shuffling to do. Uh, you know, I, I just usually like to have separate buildings for different industries. I know there's a lot of running around, but the net result is, uh, some, some kind of order to this. I think all the flowers and stuff should go in, like, a little florist shop. All the wood materials, I'll make a sawmill to get actually more planks out of the wood. That's a thermal expansion sawmill. To power all the junk, I'm going to need a couple more uh, engines. That's yeah, kind of never ending. But I did want to expand the land, expand the farm, start dig a tunnel out to those key points, that next valley over and out to the desert. Uh, all right, now I'm doing all right. I will play more, make some more storage, and uh, pretty much a build, I'll need a, a building for building materials and a building f an armory for armor and weapons. Oh yes, the, uh, the the tasks are never quite finished. Well, hi, I'm back. I've been out here kind of goofing around a bit and um, out of torches again, finishing a new building. Uh, let's see what I got for torches. I'll just need a couple. No big deal, no big deal, get the torches. So this is my uh, new, I guess this will be my building materials lab. It's two blocks high. That was going to be a possibly future rocket launching pad, but I believe you cover it all over with uh, some kind of iron plating. Anyway, this turned out to be a really strange building design. That's the fudge block. Yeah, I try not to do the same thing every single time in every single world. So here we got some interesting openings. Uh, which I'll plug some of them with uh, glass. But, darn it. I do like these little peepholes down here. And as far as I know, monsters aren't going to get in because of that. So... There we go, some torches on the floor. Let's brighten it up a little more. And down here is the bottom floor. I'm going to need four fence gates. Remember, that's because zombies can bust down your doors. So fence gates it is. And I hate iron doors. 
because you need the buttons to get in and out and the button timing has been iffy here and there so fence gates and now it's kind of a complete building and I can start lining up some iron chests and uh, doing the really bulk building materials so there, a new building and I finished the roof on that one so there, a new building for building materials Kind of fun, kind of fun. Here, let me make some glass panes. Six, let's go. I'm going to put another furnace there, I bet. Even though they're old fashioned, sometimes you just got to forge something. Alright, building materials, building materials. Very cool building materials. Be interesting, there's enough room I can probably do the sawmill here and have wooden materials here and then stone materials there. That's kind of the plan for now. And I had forgotten that I had put a bunch of um, seared bricks in the uh, machine upstairs. So what I want to, I need six for a drain, six for a drain, six for a drain, six for a drain. So I won't have enough to put a actual faucet on every one of them and I certainly don't have enough to put um, to put a casting basin under all of them. But as soon as I do this, I have now completed two entire levels, oh, except for the glass, and I just had glass in my hand, right? So as soon as I put the glass viewer in there, I will have completed two levels with official smeltery blocks. That means I will be able to uh, fire this guy up. Well, let's head down and get some lava. Yay! And we can fire up the smeltery. Boy, this sword isn't going to do me much good. It's got like two hits left on it. Alright. Hopefully there won't be anyone down here to hit. There's the lava. Let's put you in the uh, number three and four slots. So three. Oh, look at that guy. Three. Four. You are toast and your babies are toast too. Do I get any anything? No? Alright, well that was quick. Got the lava. Watched a slime drown. Oh, this is more of that essence ore. You can tell because you get cryptic symbols when you whack it. Alright, in and out quickly. Just the way I like it. Let's go. Alright, I will actually be able to run a batch of stuff in the smeltery, but I think I'm going to have to wait on actual running some ore till tomorrow, because i got to work on exactly what I need to be doing. But let's see, first I will make the final piece of the puzzle. I don't think a smeltery strictly requires a glass viewer, I really don't but I might as well throw one in there. So it's kind of cool to see inside. So glass block. This should now be, when you click on the smeltery controller, it's got the flames. So it's now got crafting slots. Let me throw number three in there and number four in there. All right, and it's warming up. So first thing I will do, just for fun, just to show one of the things you can do in the smeltery, and I'm not going to go over them all again in this mod pack. Check out my Hexit demos uh, for the smeltery. That's probably about the best way to go. What I'm going to do is double my ores. I got 36 iron. And I do like to do this in, in blocks. So 36 
Um, because the interior space of this thing is 9 by 9 by 2, it has 18 slots for melting ores. So you just shift click and it throws all your ores in there and you can see them slowly cooking. And if I put 18 ores in there, I should get 36 ingots out. And the fastest way to get stuff out is by casting 9 at a ingots at a time into a casting basin to give me a block of iron. And I should get four full blocks of iron out of this. Because there's nine ingots per block. Nine times two ores will give nine times four blocks, which is, uh, well, nine times four ingots, which is four blocks. And it's just kind of a fun system. Fun to watch. Fun to play with. Actually, I do have enough for if I'm not mistaken, I have enough for a casting basin and a faucet. If I could just learn to click properly. This is kind of neat. I can do the basin and then the faucet. So, I'll be putting that. Oh, let's put it right here. Faucet, basin. So I can make ingots on this side. Technically, I want to set it up so there's ingots on one side and then the casting tables on the other. Duh. I'll start cooking my other iron ores. If I look at it, pour on in there. Fill on up and it should solidify into a block of iron, which can be turned into nine ingots. So, you know, actually this is... I mean, considering the melt time, the pour time, the wait time, I still think it's faster as far as doubling ores than running stuff through the pulverizer and then having to smelt the two dusts to get the two ingots. This way we get a whole block. And, uh, you know, if you want ingots out of it, you go there. Shazam! Nine ingots per block. Alright, well, the next batch is melting. I'll swipe that block, see how it's almost ready kind of fun, and in fact we can go over here and watch it on the glass side. Where's the glass side? There we go. See your iron? It's about to turn into some melted... There it goes, melt. So again, I should get another four blocks. Just twice what I put in there. Keep a little. So, Alright, the smelter is up and running. There, some industry is now in operation. Iron block, iron block, and it should now be empty. Nothing in there. There you go, eight blocks of iron in like a minute. So, Smeltery is up and running, and that's going to be it for me tonight. Really, this time, I mean it.